Hey guys, this is Omkar here, back with another video and in this video we are going to have a look at the progress update of the Oreo ROM on the Redmi Note 4. Before this, a quick note, I'm trying to reach a mark of 10,000 subscribers before the first week of June in 2018. So if you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button and help me to reach the milestone. And now that being said, let's jump into the video. So in the earlier video, the Oreo ROM which I had used was the Lineage OS 15 ROM and basically all these ROMs out there have the same sources. And many of the essential features like Goodix fingerprint and Voltee calls were not working. But since the recent development, we have the Voltee calls as well as Goodix fingerprint working. And for this video, I am using the Cardinal AOSP ROM, which offers slightly more customization, which also indicates that we have more and more custom ROMs coming in for the Redmi Note 4, and most of them are daily driver ready. Talking more about this ROM, we get a substratum theme support and into the customization section, we can customize the status bar. In the buttons menu, you can either select the on-screen navigation keys or the capacitive keys and assign different actions to them. You can also have a customizable lock screen and somewhat customizable recent panel where you can select the position of the clear all button. Battery life on this ROM is really nice. In fact, on most of the Oreo ROMs, the battery life is really good. I have flashed the Electra Blue kernel and it does give me a fast charging support where I can charge my phone off from almost dead to 90% in almost about 2 hours. While charging the phone it does tend to hit a little bit but I guess for the sake of fast charging it is alright. Well that's it from this video guys. If you enjoyed this video feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until then keep smiling and stay happy.